S car, go away. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another Crusader's Court. As always, I'm your friendly neighborhood community manager for Crusader Kings, Troy. With me today, I have Fawn, our wonderful community ambassador, who also runs Discord. I'm sure you've seen her there. If you haven't, then, well, I don't know where you're actually at on our Discord because she's everywhere. Say hi, Fawn. Hello, everybody. It's been a while since I've been on a stream, so it's nice to be back with Troy to talk productive topics, I'm sure. Definitely not just about slugs for an hour. The Discord is nearly two years old now, which is really insane. I can't believe it's been that long since we launched it at PDXCon 2019. And it to this day, it continues to be our largest Paradox Discord out of all our official Discords. And we're actually about to hit uh, 50,000 members, which is like a great milestone. You know, it feels like we're, we've achieved something and we've, we've got so many people in there now who talk on a daily basis. And it's great to see how the community have been interacting. And, and I know that people have built friendships up over the past two years since it's launched. And it's great to see the regulars coming in and conversing. Yeah, and I know... Um... I know we're we're really excited, and hopefully we can do something for that 50k. Fawn and I have kind of been kicking back and forth ideas, trying to give you guys some kind of challenge thought idea. So the first thing we have to do, obviously, is hit 50k. So if you have friends that are interested in the game, or people you hate that you want to just completely stomp at the game, you should definitely invite them to the Discord so that we can get up to that 50k, and maybe something exciting will happen. Maybe there will be prizes. Maybe there will be contests. Who knows? I must say, one thing I really enjoy about my beloved Crusader Kings moderator team is that they're all a little bit nuts. And uh, obviously there are a lot of Paradox servers at this point, or something like eight. And some of the other moderator teams maybe aren't so nuts as the CK moderators are. So in circumstances where we've had to put teams together, I think maybe the other teams have been like, oh, what's wrong with the Crusader Kings team? They're a bit in, they're a bit insane, but that's just how we kind of roll and I wouldn't have it any other way, honestly. No, honestly, this team is the best team I've ever been a part of. And having, you know, the, the, the Crusader Kings server moving as smoothly and efficiently as it can, I think is owed in large part to that just just right on the edge of insanity of our of our moderators. And so Exactly. It's it's really rad to see everyone come together constantly. And like during PDXCon, I know I was it was nuts. I was I was there for 21 hours each and every day. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, I'd, I'd get in in the morning and I'm like, oh, it's 6 a.m. What am I doing? How do hands work? Where am I? And I'd <laughs> like open my computer up and there's already those moderators are already handling things. It's like, what? It's 6 a.m. This is crazy. And so watching throughout the day and seeing that they're constantly on, it's like, I couldn't do this. I 21 hours a day yeah, is 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 nuts. But like they were there already and they were there when I logged out. So it's like, I, how are you guys still alive and awake? This is this is crazy, amazing, wonderful, beautiful. And then, you know, I had a I had the award ceremony to give out the awards and you know they're they're like all right here's who we're here, here's who we're the candidates are and here's who we're announcing and then those results came in and it was like yes that's my team that won that award we did this it was so it was yeah the um i was there with daria and paula and you know they're like it was asiac i was like yes and i just started sprinting around the the studio i was like this is the best i'm so happy i'm like whoa calm down i'm like you don't understand this is such a well-deserved hard-working person that has earned this reward also you have a uh, you have slugs now i know you've got friends fawn the slug yeah. queen yeah yeah my life has become slug and snail patrol the past month or so because uh summer here has just been rainy for some reason so it's it's like warm and moist and perfect for the slugs and for some reason they keep coming into my house so i have like a mesh screen in one of the doors but it's got some tiny gaps around the edges and this is a carpeted room i might add and <laughs> i'll turn around and i'll see that my my cat staring at something and i'll look and there's just a massive black slug making its way across the carpet and i'm like that's 
gross you know get out and it kept happening more and more to the point where i must have taken like 20 slugs out of my room in a week and i didn't know what to do with them because if i just fling them back outside well they're just still there they're just going to come back in for whatever reason maybe my room smells nice i don't know so i decided to stop <laughs> wrapping them in toilet paper and flushing them down the toilet because that would just take them you know really far away from me and i wouldn't have to deal with that anymore right and uh it all seems good and dandy until like the next day I lifted the toilet seat and looked in and there was just a massive slug sitting inside the toilet. And I was like, no, 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 no. So I grabbed the toilet brush and I was trying to poke the slug down into the water. You know, get out, get, I'm going to flush you, get out. And somehow the slug, I don't know if it was on drugs or what, but it just shot up the side of the toilet and went under the rim of the toilet. And I was like, I can't get that out now. It's it's living in there. You and should... so for the next two days, I kept going to check. Is it out? Is it out? I'm gonna need you to send a lot of uh, a lot of toilet snail to toilet slug pictures to Nurgle. He's making just the worst faces right now during this story. <laughs> he's he's having a hard time. But yeah, a drug slug and fawn the slug queen. Also, I really I really what? wish our, our moderators could, you know, give me that video of you yeeting a snail. Oh, there. here we go. Look, we've got a video. Look, <laughs> a snail. Sorry for the portrait mode. Yeet. There it was. One more time. One more time. Come on. See the other construction waste just sitting there. S car, go away. Perfect. I did that Beautiful. every night, every hour, three hours a night for about two weeks. Uh, I must have <laughs> picked up hundreds of snails and <laughs> you just you the next day you'd walk along the driveway and you just feel crunching under your shoes yep. it was gross snailed it yeah yeah yep yep life's a garden <laughs> dig it nurgle Ooh. <laughs> Nur nurgle's already done with me he's, he's just like gone he's gonna leave one of these days and just pull the plug on this entire stream <laughs> troy canceled shame shame <laughs> that's amazing you're all welcome, everyone. This is my life now. I volunteered for this job. I wanted to be here with you all. That is such a on it's such a good gift. I actually bought my friend a little bell, um, so he could just do the shame, shame, shame thing. And we had like a board game night, and that bell was rung probably like every couple of minutes. And by the end, I think someone yeeted it out the window because they're like, "We're done with the shame bell." The shame bell. I've heard Ox House Flavor Pack Two and Royal Court coming along very well. Um, we have not, uh, nailed down exactly the content of F Flavor Pack 2, but we're working on it. We have a lot of ideas that are coming along well. As far as Royal Court, Royal Court is very much coming together. Uh, we want to make sure we do it right. It's our first large DLC. It's the first expansion for Crusader Kings 3, and we want to make sure we're doing it right. So it's taking a little extra time to make sure that we have everything in a row. We don't want to release a product that is not satisfactory to you in the community. So we're making sure we, we nail everything down, get all of our T's crossed and our I's dotted before we release that content. But as soon as we have a release date for you, we'll let you guys know. Definitely make sure you check out the social media. Hit us up on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit. We have our forums. Also, um, one of my lovely moderators could do me a solid and give us both links, not just for the CK3 Discord, but for the PDX Discord. That would be super cool, and I would appreciate it. Make sure you join those communities. As we were talking about earlier, uh, Fawn and I are hoping to get to 50k on the CK3 Discord. So that's very close. We are, we are, we are less than a thousand away from that, right, Fawn? Yeah, we're only a couple of hundred away. Just think of all the prizes that you could get. Yeah, it'll be really rad. So definitely check out the uh, the CK3 Discord. Get ready for contests and prizes once we hit 50k. Um, and the PDX Discord is going to be the centralized locale for all things PDX involved. So make sure you're on there. And everyone at home, thank you for joining <laughs> us. Stay hydrated. Keep safe out there. We'll see you in the game. We hope you enjoy it. We hope you have a good summer. We'll be here with our summer schedule. But in the meantime, have a good Tuesday, and we'll see you around. Thanks, everyone, and goodbye.